still were typically moving around. Wait, start over. Tell me that again. So you go to the movies. It's a typical day. You're going to the movies. Yes. Okay, go ahead. Typical day, going to the movies uh, to kill time while I'm in town. Um, I hear the gunshot, uh, but I don't really pay much attention, thinking maybe it's something from another theater or something. But it seemed pretty real. About 10 seconds later, some form of alarm goes off, uh, says that we need to exit the building. We begin to exit the building and we, and everybody's actually pretty calm still at this point. Uh, you see a lady coming and she's screaming, get away from the building, he's coming. Go, get away from the building, he's coming. And that's when it gets kind of panicky. Uh, people are running, moving, kind of screaming. Uh, people are still not sure 100% what's going on. Um, get around there and that's when I see the teacher. She's injured, she's bleeding in the grass, uh, trying to get someone to come over. We could see at this point officers flying up, so you know it's not good. So the first set of officers to my right, you can see are, are, are heading inside the building. I was able to uh, get her calmed down, trying to get her to count and stay focused. An officer came over. Uh, he began to try to put a tourniquet on her leg. Uh, at that point, uh, I kind of stepped back. There was two or three people over there at this point now. Where um, I'm trying to remind her to just keep counting, trying to keep her calm and stay focused on counting and, and controlling her breathing. Um, asked her for her mom's phone number to call her mom and let her mom know what was going on, which uh, I was able to do at the time. Her mom seemed to think it was a prank call. At least that's the vibe that I got from it. Um, then I went back to uh, trying to assist her. You hear another set of shots go off, pop, pop, pop. People dissipate and it ends up, uh, we're yelling and trying to get the ambulance to come over still. We come to the realization that the ambulance is not going to come. So we pick her up and we begin escorting her over there. About three quarters of the way, it's probably about 80 yards away. One of the guys is breaking down, he can't take it. Somebody else comes in and helps and we get her all the way to the ambulance, get her inside the ambulance and um, then start heading back to where we were originally. Um, to see if there's anybody else that we could help. Uh, on my way back towards the movie theater, uh, one of the guys that was helping me had a panic attack and then he goes down. And uh, I guess it kind of all hit him, you know, what was actually happening. So he gets to shaking, hyperventilating, and uh, at that point just had to stop and try to get somebody to come and assist him. And uh, that is pretty much <laughs> it in a nutshell uh, what happened on what was supposed to be a regular movie day for me how are you doing now Sean um I'm good I'm okay um, um I've been in you name it I lived in California for the Rodney King rides I was in Oh, earthquake. I was here for Katrina. I served in Afghanistan. So I've had my share of catastrophes. Uh, I typically don't panic in the midst of it all. It'll probably hit me tomorrow or, or after I get some rest. It's three o'clock in the morning right now uh, before I realize, what, you know, what actually took place. Do you know how she's doing? Have you been able to check on her? Check uh, her mother her? did get back in touch with me. Uh, she had made it to Lafayette at this point. It was probably about midnight maybe a little bit, maybe 11 o'clock. Uh, she's getting ready to go into surgery. I think her mother said that um, the bullet broke her leg bone in three places and they're gonna have to put a steel rod in, um, but they think she's going to be okay. And her mother said that she definitely wanted to meet me after this all cleared up. Wow. Hey, uh, this is a little philosophical, but You've been in some stuff, man. Uh, <laughs> I've had my share. This is an old, old question. Why do bad things like this happen? Why? Uh, uh, got any ideas? You've seen your share of it. Um, in this particular case, my personal opinion may be a little bit political, but at the end of the day, these people that have some, these issues, they need somewhere to go. You know, psych wards are closing down. Where do these people go that need help? Uh, I don't know. It's a good question. Thanks so much.
you're a hero, you know, to me. I, I really appreciate you so much. Thank you, man. Dude, I, dude, I mean, this is, I couldn't have imagined when I started my 